Let's have a quick look at the films available for cookie wrapping. Basically a film, a wrap, a plastic, a cellophane, whatever it is, it's got to be food grade. If you're starting out, you're typically going to go for these, a cellophane bag. They're not always actually cellophane, but they're frequently known as cellophane bags. Um, cellophane is just a plastic material, but it's food grade, it's safe for the um, food to go into. So if this one is just for convenience, I've already bagged them, but you would drop them into your bag. You might buy bags that are as close fitting to your cookies as possible. Now cookies vary slightly in size as they come out of the oven, so you want one that's, that's way too much space. You want something that's close to that. Just start with it and you put a tag on it. You can put a little metal clip on there, something that's pretty sturdy, and then put a nice tag on it, however you want to do it. But you can buy those in small numbers. You can buy bags of 10, 50, 100 cellophane bags. You get them on Amazon, Lakeland. Um, loads of places sell them. Very simple, very straightforward. If you want to bag a lot more cookies, you can't be standing putting one at a time cookies into a bag. You're going to need to move to a machine. You're going to need a uh, jaw sealer or an L sealer. This one's done with an L sealer. It's also called centerfold film, uh, bakery film, people call it all different things, but you're looking for film for an L sealer or a jaw sealer. Film, cookies go inside the film and it's sealed on two sides, that's the L shape. This is how the rule comes. They typically come in massive rules. This one's 1500 meters and they're heavy. Centerfold film, so it's a roll of film already folded in half. You open it, put your cookie inside, and press down the L-sealer. You can check out the L-sealer video to see how an L-sealer works. But it seals it on the two open sides. So your first one seals here, and your next seal seals the open side and across the back of your cookie, which forms the first seal of the next cookie. But they're easy to load, and you'll see it on the L-sealer film. Check out that video, you can see how you put the cookie inside very quickly and very easily. Typically these are polypropylene, so it's a type of film, type of plastic that's food grade. That means there's nothing from the food will leach into the plastic and nothing from the plastic leaches into the food. Uh, I have to talk about cling film. Uh, I recommend you don't use cling film. Cling film uh, appears to be cheap and cheerful, it's very easy to use. For homemade cookies, yes you can put a plastic uh, down, you set your cookies on it, wrap it, very simple, very quick. But it's not very appetizing. This is actually pallet wrap, don't never use pallet wrap. Uh, it's got to be cling film for your kitchen. It looks the same, it comes in huge rolls and it seems very cheap and economic. It's not food safe. The chemicals in this will leach into your cookies and make them poisonous. I don't use the palette wrap. The other problem with cling film is that it's it's clear, but it crinkles. It sticks together, sticks to itself, which makes it airtight if you get it properly wrapped. You're not calling it sealed, you're calling it airtight, and it's not guaranteed sealed. But you also get this effect, lots of plastic gathered up and crinkled all over your cookies. You're hiding the cookie under the wrinkles. What you really want is a nice clear plastic that's shiny and clear and people can see the product. Or when you take it out of the box, they can see it and it's pleasant to look at. If people think you've been pawing all over your cookies putting cling film on it, it's off-putting. People like homemade, but not homemade where you paw all over the food. They like the idea of it being clean and barely touched out of the oven, which is what you want. Flow wrap film, similar to LC film, similar to centerfold. It comes in big rolls. This is about a third of a roll. It's a heavy duty plastic that heat seals and is food safe. There's nothing in this which will leach into your food, so you can store it in your food, your wrap your cookies in for years. It goes through the machine, gets folded over the top of your cookie, sealed on the bottom, sealed at the other end, fins seal it with the heat sealer. Um, check out the other videos on flu wrappers to see how that works. But be aware of buying it if you want to be an eco-friendly company. It's not recyclable. Manufacturers will tell you it is recyclable. It's uh, perfectly safe to use and to put in to recycling. It's not. Um, they will lie to you or they are ignorant and I've found cases of both. Uh, it's recyclable in industrial facilities. Those industrial facilities at the end of 2021 now are not currently available in the UK. You can start to take it to Sainsbury's, Tesco, some of the big supermarkets and they will take it away. But if you're doing uh, commercial cookie making, they're not going to take big bags of your waste uh, polypropylene. So that's the flexible plastic you'll hear about that is bad for the environment and it is it doesn't break down it takes forever so it's pretty horrible stuff but it's the standard in the food industry because it keeps foods fresh for years uh, and it fits the flu wrap systems the big machines that people have currently there are companies like uh, natureflex so they're uh, in europe and they make a compostable flu wrap film but currently it's four times the price and you've got to order by the pallet so if you have the money and the space it's a great alternative especially if you want to be an eco-friendly company which everybody 
should be, but packaging companies currently are still flogging tons of this stuff because it fits the machinery.